All right, cool. West Mitchell here, Gamecock Central, back with uh, Rico Powers. Uh, Rico, I, I know you joined us on uh, National Signing Day when we were on the radio, did a little interview with us then. Uh, so just to, you know, get us updated, man, what you've been doing, what have you been doing to sort of, you know, stay in shape, to get ready for uh, for this big move. I know you got the big move in, you said June 7th. So uh, what you been doing with your free time, man? Uh, well, my – Usually routine scheduled is like 12 in the morning. You know, I'll go train. That's basically working on routes, footwork, and catching the ball. And we go and get BBs too. So, and then after that, you know, I'll go back home and run on some hills. And then after I run on some hills, you know, I just stretch, stay hydrated, and get ready for the next day. And we'll look at my playbook. I got you, man. So, I I know – Obviously, it's it's a big step, you know, going up from high school ball to college ball, SEC ball. Um, just looking through the playbook, and I, I'm guessing I, I've heard some of the guys have been able to, like, get on – have y'all been able to get on Zoom with the coaches some a, a little bit and sort of get ready? Uh, what has what that part of this process been like, being able to sort of at least virtually interact with Coach Joe Cox and uh, start to dive into that playbook? It's been It's been very helpful. Just, you know, to have a guide, you know, going through the playbook. He's going through the playbook together with us. So, you know, it made me understand the playbook more better and also be able to, like, read the playbook and understand it better. So that's just been a great help. So what what have you thought of, of Coach Cox so far? I mean, obviously, um, you know, I remember when you were being recruited, Coach B-Mac was a, was a big part of the decision. So I know that was probably a little bit of an adjustment for you, but – now that you've gotten to know Coach Cox some and you're going to get to see him in person, obviously, here soon, how has y'all's relationship maybe started to build a little bit? Our relationship has been building a lot, you know. You know I mean, he's a very cool guy, you know. It's funny, you know, and uh, he's, he's about his business, you know, and that's all I look forward to in a coach, you know, someone I can trust and um, I'm comfortable with. You know, he's been doing a very good job of that. Did, did you know him at all when he was at Colorado State? Had, had you met him or talked to him there? Uh, I know him because they offered me, but I didn't talk to. I didn't really get to talk to him like that. But when they offered me, you know, I was talking to. Him. I, I got you. I got you. Um, I, I know Coach Coach Bobo has made it uh, really clear, um, at least from when he's talked to the media, that he wants for you and Jakari Caldwell to like be ready to to play. What what has their message been to you as far as you know this opportunity to maybe come in, step in? play as a freshman what what's sort of the message been and what has he said you need to be you know you need to do to sort of get to that point um basically he told me just to uh stay in shape and just read the playbook you know and that's that's the main thing you I got to be able you know to uh, do everything 100 percent every time like I'd be able to run all day that's what he preaches so you know just staying in shape and also knowing what to do knowing where to line up at you know those type of stuff he tells us that will get us on the field I got you. I got you. And as far as just, uh, man, you, you've been in a unique situation here. You, you know, you and your class, and then of course the guys in 2021 enrolling at college with a pandemic going on. Um, you know, what has that been like? Just, I mean, I, I know for the longest time gyms were shut down. You couldn't really maybe get access to weights like normal. Um, you have sort of all these different, I guess protocols are put in place to to get everything ready for you guys to come back. How how has that felt just to be in the middle of like this historic event? Um, honestly, you know, I'm just I'm just going going with the flow. Wherever I can get done, I try to get done. You know, if if I get get on the field, that's what I try to do. Uh, if I can get in the weight room, that's what I try to do. Anything that I can do, I try to do. You know, so. That's just the main thing, just making sure, like, you're getting some type of work in. Like I say, I run on hills uh, in my uh, apartment complex. That's that's pretty much. I got you, man. So um, let's talk a little bit just about off the field. I I know, obviously, you you got some some new teammates enrolling soon as well. Do you know yet um, who you're going to be rooming with? Have you gotten to know some of the guys pretty well yet? Yeah, I definitely got to know some of the guys because some of us, you know, we play on the Cam Newton team like Joey Hunter and Rashad. Uh, I also know my roommate, Jaheim. I also play with him, 707 with Team Damo. So, you know, me and him already had a great relationship. So it's going to go good for us. I got you. What uh, what do you think about some of those guys? You Have a uh, have you paid enough attention to, to give us a scouting report on 
what you've seen. I know Jaheem's a big guy who can go catch it as well. Yeah, definitely. Jaheim, is, he's a big dude, you know. You could use him in many ways, you know, with reverses, handoffs, or, you know, he could go vertically too. He's a big dude, you know. You could use him in many ways. Joey Hunter, you know, he's a good he's a good DB. You, know, you put him at safety, you could put him at cornerback. He's just a very versatile DB, long and smart. I got you. I got you. And um, all right. So, so off the field, if you're not um, if you're not working out, you're not playing football. Tell us a little bit about you know yourself and your personal life. What uh, what are your hobbies? What are you doing for fun? If you're if it's can't involve sports at all. <laughs> I got you. Well, if uh, after all you know my football training stuff over, with, you know I'm I'm really a chill guy. I like to chill, have fun, and laugh. You know me and me and my friends. You know we'll probably get on the game, play UFC, play Madden. You know just uh spare just spare time. That's all. PS4 or Xbox? PS4. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. Um, all right. I I know. Um, I'm sure you know this, man. They they feed y'all well at South Carolina. So what's uh, if you could have one meal, man? What's uh, what what's on your plate in your your favorite meal of all time? You can, it can be in particular mm-hmm. or just you can pull from different places. What what's on the plate if you could have the absolute perfect meal? Oh, that's that's a hard one. My favorite food, spaghetti, but as out as a whole meal, I don't I don't know what I want as a whole meal. Uh, that's a good question. So def but definitely some spaghetti. Definitely some spaghetti though. I love spaghetti. Uh, do you do you cook yourself or I I cook a little bit, mostly breakfast. Okay. I got you. But have have you seen uh, I I mean they put out the videos and stuff on Twitter where they uh like teach the guys to to cook and sort of do some of their own stuff. Does that excite you to sort of learn some of that off the field yeah. stuff as well? Yeah, that definitely excites me. Uh, actually, uh, for my official vision, we had to cook our food. So, you know, that was a great experience. And my, my family got to see me by actually cooking. So that was a good experience. What'd you cook? I cooked um, some rice and chicken and it had vegetables in it. You know, so, yeah. yeah, that's a, that's a good fry. balance. Fry. What's that? Stir fry. It was stir fry. Okay, yeah, that, that's a good balance post workout. Uh, got a little protein, some carbs, some veggies. Uh, not bad, man. Um, yeah. All right, so uh, finally, has uh, has it sunk in? I mean, you you know, you went through the recruiting process. You graduate in high school. Now this next step is here, Rico. Has it really sunk in? Like, what what's your mindset? Just knowing, man, you you're a college officially a college student athlete. In like a little over a week, uh, it I, I wouldn't say it fully sunk in, but I'm kind of like like getting those chills, like dang, it's almost that time to get ready to go on campus, you know. But also, I'm I'm just ready to get on campus, and I'm excited, you know. I'm I'm ready to, uh, you know, go through go through practice workouts and just already get in the routine. Of what I got to do every day. That's all I'm ready for. You ready? Uh, you ready for them five a.m. wake up calls? Honestly, I am, so I can go ahead and get used to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just get it over with, right? Get the yeah. workouts over with. Um, all right, that's, that's Rico Powers, a four-star wide receiver, enrolling at South Carolina on June 7th. Rico, we appreciate the time, man, and uh, we wish you luck in everything, okay? Appreciate it. Thank you.